St Bede, or as many knew him as Just Bede, when he was seven years old, he entered a monastery in Monk Wearmouth. But for all of his adult life, he was known for working here in Jarrow. He was one of the most learned men in the whole of Europe. Through teaching and studying and learning, he became well known for all of the books that he wrote. And it was here, in this place, that he would work by candlelight and he would make sure that the works and the words of our Lord were translated into Anglo-Saxon, for he knew that there were not many common men who understood Greek and Latin, and he would work. He would work inside of his darkened cells by candlelight. He would work hard and long hours, and soon his eyesight began to fade. His eyesight began to fade, and with time he became blind, but it didn't stop him. Because what he would do was, he would dictate to those younger monks who had good eyesight. And he would dictate to them great passages from the Bible so that they could write it down and illuminate it and place it inside of books for all and everyone to be able to read. It didn't stop him in his preaching either. For he had preached so long in this area that he knew every highway and byway, each lane and each nook and each cranny, and he could feel his way along the stones to find the way where people would want to listen to his preachings. But one day, he was outside of the monastery, just sitting and contemplating, when a mischievous boy came up to him. He said, Father, there are a group of people who would wish to hear you preach. All the while, this mischievous boy was trying to stifle his laughter because he knew that the bead was completely and utterly blind and could not see. But they live uh, some distance away. The venerable bead said, oh, you are a good boy. Please, would you lead me to that place? Here, the boy was holding onto his sides to think that he was leading this blind man for he had no intention of taking him to where anyone could hear him. He was taking him out upon a road and he was going to take him to a field and leave him and be lost. And all the while, Bede spoke to this boy and praised him for his help and his kindness while the boy stifled his laughter. All the while, this wicked boy was laughing and smiling for he'd taken Bede, Saint Bede, so far away that he would be lost. And he took him to where there were only trees and flowers and grass. The boy spoke. Father, they are in silence because they wish to listen to you, to preach to them. Please begin your service as and when you wish. First Bede fell to his knees and he prayed and then he started to preach to the trees, to the stones, to the twisted hawthorn bushes, the flowers and the grass. The boy thought this was the funniest thing that he'd ever seen. This poor old blind man preaching to an empty field of trees. He was going to run away as soon as he had finished. This boy was going to run away and leave him there in this field to find his own way home. The boy had not listened to a single word that Bede had spoken. He spoke of how Moses parted the Red Sea. He spoke of the miracle of the angel Gabriel as he spoke to Mary and Joseph and the birth of Jesus in a manger in Bethlehem. But when he had finished, when Bede had finished, the boy heard, Amen, Amen, praise be to God. The boy thought that some men must have come to that place. And again, he heard, Amen, praise the Lord, praise the Lord for all of the words that Bede has said. The boy looked. He could see no men standing there. And again, they all cried out, Amen, and praise the words of the Lord. And it was when he looked at the third time, he saw that it was the trees and the bushes and the, all of the grasses that were praising 
It was the, the stones that had been so moved by the words of Saint Bede that they were venerating him, praising him for the words that he had spoken. The boy begged, prayed for forgiveness because he had not even listened and he was so moved by what Saint Bede had done that he told everyone about what Saint Bede had said and how he had been venerated and how he was venerable. And it is because of that and from that time that Bede, Saint Bede, was always known as the Venerable Bede.